Hey guys, gonna be a little different video today. Not gonna be extremely vloggy, kind of vloggy, but not extremely vloggy because mainly today it's only gonna be me dealing with this situation back here. Lately, for productivity issues with editing videos and doing other stuff, uh, one monitor really wasn't working, so I got this uh, triple monitor setup thing going. Me and Allison, neither one really like it all on the desk. I wanted to get it up, so I tried. I've got a pile of mounts over here, triple monitor mounts that I tried. None of them really worked. They put the monitors too far kind of towards you because they, they were deep. Now I'm going with wall mount. Because if you wall mount them, can't get them any closer to the wall than that. And they're still articulating mounts, so should still be able to move them around and get a good layout, all that crap. So that's really all that's gonna be today. So if you're not interested in watching me put uh, all this together, maybe skip to the next video. But if you've never seen anybody hang monitors or any of that kind of crap, then uh, hang around. That's what we're doing today. So I've hung about 100 TVs on the wall, so this should go pretty easy. Should being the key word there, because like I said, there's always some snag. There's always something. But anyway, that's what we're doing. All right, first step, move everything away from the wall. We're gonna measure everything off. I think we're just gonna put it center under that shelf because if I don't center the middle mount under that shelf, my OCD is gonna get aggravated. I'm gonna itch, it'll make me itch, like the whole time it'll itch. So I'm gonna have to put it under here. It's gonna take a while to measure all this crap off because you gotta make sure you start with everything lined up or when you mount everything, it's gonna be all crooked and screwed up. So uh, this part's probably the most time consuming part. Don't make fun of any of my measurements or any of my marks because in my head all this stuff makes sense. This might not be the professional way to do it, but it's how I always do stuff. It's, it's, I have my own system. Let's see, I have to use this goofy mount for the back of my Mac because for some reason Apple and all their wisdom, and I know I've been hating on Apple a lot lately, but it's because they've been doing some stuff that is stupid. But like I said, I'm still a huge Apple fanboy. I mean, Half the crap in my house is Apple, so don't get me wrong, I love Apple, but they, they this stand right here, this big stand, used to come off. You used to be able to take it off up here. You could twist it out, undo some screws that came out when you twisted it out, and then you could put a wall mount on the back of the monitor to use to mount to like one of these Visa adapters, like this thing right here, to go on the wall. Apple, for some reason, in all their divine wisdom, you can either buy it with the stand or you can buy it with a wall mount already attached to the back. But you can't, after a certain year, after I think 2012, you can't take the stand off the back of an iMac. You can, but you have to disassemble the entire computer. You literally have to take the screen out and, and take the stand off from the inside, which, negative. Negative Ghost Rider, the pattern is full. Not, not about to do that. So anyway, luckily, even though this is kind of goofy, um, they have this, this mount here that you can buy on Amazon made by this company, Vivo, I think it's, I don't know how you pronounce that. And it basically mounts to the existing stand. And then what you can do is some people leave the stand on there and then use this little, this little, let me make my coffee. They move, they use this little piece that's still attached on there. They use it as like a little shelf to put like an external hard drive or something. I think that looks pretty goofy. So the other thing people do is they just cut along the bottom of the, the, the mount right there and cut the stand off. And then from the front, you don't even notice it's on there because it's above the edge of the, the bottom edge of the screen. So that's probably what I'm gonna opt to do. But anyway, uh, I got all my marks on the wall. Uh, I found a stud for the computer, the middle one. I hit a st was able to hit a stud, which is good because that iMac weighs like 25 pounds or something. Uh, so I really wanted to get in a stud. The outside ones, I have some anchors uh, that hold like 100 pounds and those monitors don't weigh but like five. So uh, if I don't hit studs on the outside one, I'm comfortable with that. Hair is nice. This hair is nice. So, got the first one on. Swings, articulates. First one up. So, so far, so good. 
Okay, checking back in. I'm gonna have to start filming some of the stuff while I'm doing it, but it's a big monitor and I've only got two hands. I'll start doing more, but anyway, I got this up. See, this is what I'm talking about. See how the stand is still on here? Some people use that to mount like their like external hard drive or something like that. I think it looks goofy as shit, and I'm gonna cut that thing off, but I'm just leaving it on there for right now to see, uh, till I make sure everything's lined up right. What do you think, Miss Charlotte? Uh, she yeah. likes it. We forgot protective eyewear. You got protective eyewear. You're good. We're gonna have to do a lot of cleaning. Look what we just found. You read that? 128 megabyte. When the hell's the last time you saw a 128 megabyte memory card? All of this can be fed into the computer through these magnetic tapes. Nowadays with cameras, you couldn't fit five pictures on this daggum thing. Like I was saying a little bit ago, the two outside ones, uh, I wasn't able to hit studs. So I'm using anchors. But the anchors have hold like 100 pounds a piece. There's two of them per mount. It's like 200 pounds. And I know that isn't a true 200 pounds because there's torsional leverage and all this crap. I don't know, I've gone cross-eyed. Nevertheless, those monitors weigh like four pounds. So um, I'm sure they'll be fine. And these are the kind of anchors that, uh, that they are. I don't know if you've ever seen these, but they, they screw right in to the wall. You just make a little pilot hole and they, they screw in. And then you put a, your, they come with a screw, you put it in and then it grabs and pushes this sideways in the back behind the drywall. And then as you screw, it tightens up behind the drywall like that. If this was your sheet of drywall, it goes and tightens up. They're, they're pretty strong and they're, they're, they're good anchors. I've used them multiple times and they're pretty good. This one I've started and basically you just, Get a screwdriver on it, pulls right into the wall, like such. And then you got these big old hawking screws that just go in there, and uh, Bob's your uncle. That's what we got so far. It's a 27 inch iMac, 24 inch Dell 1080p's. The Mac is a 5K. Yeah, so you can kind of see back there. It's pretty clean. I mean, you can kind of see beside it, which is why I wanted to make sure they were as close to the wall as possible so you couldn't see back there and see a bunch of garbage. There's that glorious Mac stand I had to cut off. Thanks again, Mac. Appreciate that, Apple. Okay, so that's all the mounted. It's a whole lot of real estate. Now goes the fun part. Routing all the wires to the wall, hiding all the wires, all that stuff. I actually kind of enjoy doing that part. That part, I hate because it's like nerve wracking to get everything perfectly leveled and all lined up. The hiding the wire stuff is kind of fun. By the way, you ever had these things? Honey, mustard, and onion pretzel bits? Change your life. Anyway, now we're hiding wires. What we have to do, you gotta cut holes in the drywall. You cut holes in the drywall, you're not gonna wanna leave big jaggedy holes. So they have these kind of jobbers right here, see that? You can see what goes with the wires. See it has a little channel. It's nice and big so wires can fit through. But when it's in the wall, the wires come through, but it's got a back, so it looks neat. And these kind come with these little built-in. We'll wait for them to finish screaming. Are we done screaming in there? Go ahead. This is Lucky. There's Lucky. And I had to bring him back. It's the teacher's horse, it isn't mine. And I have to bring it back on Friday because 
On on Friday, it's my friend Jake's turn. Yeah. And this is Lucky. <laughs> and that's Lucky. You wanted to show the camera Lucky. Can I show yeah. the camera my little Sophia doll? Sure. Let's just take some time to show the camera everything. So that was Lucky. Please, please stay with me because it's Okay. Eyes. That's the Sophia. No one likes Sophia. All right. No one likes Sophia. All right, can I finish now? Yes, yeah. yep, you can finish. All right, thanks, guys. <laughs> so anyway, the this kind has got these little um, tabs that uh, you cut it, slip through the wall, and then when you screw it in, the tabs flip out and grab the drywall. So kind of an all-in-one solution, but they work good. So that's what I'm about to put in next. Run all the pertinent wires through that hole, then put the plate on. Here's the other end with all the wires coming through that I need on this end, and then I will do the same. Put the opening up on the bottom and put the opening down on the top, obviously, so your cords are going in the right direction. There we go. Tuck your tabs in. And boom. Now you got all your wires coming out. And the great thing about these is you just start to tighten this up. And you can feel it snug. That little tab in the back draws forward. And then you got a nice secure plate. I'm going to put a small USB hub. USB 3 hub under the desk because I ran several through but uh, I don't want to go through the hassle of every time I have to unplug or plug in like a phone or something small to a USB port having to like make sure I have one ran through the wall or mess with that so one of the wires I ran through the wall is going to go to this USB 3 hub that's got four USB ports in it and uh, I'll mount it to the bottom of the desk and I think when I'm going to mount it I was watching a guy and I think his channel's Nerdgasm I know it's a funny name, but I think that's what it is, nerd guy, the computer guy, does a lot of tech stuff. He was using hot glue to mount stuff under desks because he was making the point that if you like screw it or nail it or tape it, tape leaves a lot of residue, screwing damages, whatever you're screwing it into. Hot glue, normally you can use and then use a hair dryer to warm it up and pop it off if you ever want to take it off and it leaves almost no damage and it pops off uh, pretty cleanly rather than leaving a bunch of uh, residue like double-sided tape or something. He had a whole video on using hot glue for cable management, and um, it was a pretty, pretty interesting video. These things, I'm sure you guys have seen these straps that you use. They go on themselves and for, for wire, dumb bonds on wires. I like it a lot better than zip ties because you can undo them easily. You don't have to cut them and redo them every time. They just undo. <laughs> Just for the record, I think that mask is creepy as hell. Just for the record. Thank you. So that's pretty much it. Got it done in uh, one afternoon. Wasn't too bad, really. I was expecting a lot worse, actually. I did as good as I could with wire management under here. Stuck the power strips to the roof of the desk. And then I actually mounted my card reader under the desk. So it was uh, here easy for me to access. And uh, from up here, you know, it looks good and clean. You can't see any of that stuff until you get way down here, which nobody's gonna be way down here. Which is kind of the point, you don't wanna see any wires. I'm gonna try to have as little wire showing as you can looks a lot cleaner that way and then back here I tried to that's hard to see because of the lights but I bundled up everything tried to keep it as clean as possible that's uh that's it I'm pretty happy with it I'm not done with it obviously I still got to 
get a few more things for the desk. The desk is a little, a little empty right now. But uh, overall, pretty pleased with how it turned out for uh, afternoon's work. Those mounts, those mounts were, there they were right here. Video secure. They're nice, they're really solid metal. And uh, I think they're only like 12 bucks a piece. That was the Vivo mount for, I'll put all this stuff in the description. So you can mount a iMac to the wall. A little bit of a pain in the butt. The monitors were way easier. Uh, so I don't know if you want to even call us a vlog or not, but that's it for the day. Tomorrow should be more interesting. We're going to the beach with some friends to see the Blue Angels are here. Tomorrow's vlog should be a little more visually stimulating. Hopefully this one was informational. If you have any questions, put you know, ask me down in the comments and I'll be glad to uh, respond to as many as I can or as quickly as I can. Other than that, we'll see you guys later. Boop, 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 boop.